social racing, an incredibly tight shootout, a thrilling dash, and a cuteness overload. Highlighted the first day's action at the Robinvale Euston 80. The penultimate River Classic on Ski Racing Australia's 2018 and 19 calendar kicked off on a stunning autumn morning with more than 70 social crews racing over the two leg course from Robinvale to Bonvarical Creek and back again. And quickest of them all was Bulletproof. The crew of Paul White, Adam Wilson, Jack Walker and Mitchell Goggle clocking a tick over 33 minutes and 3 seconds. Once the social classes had finished, attention moved to the Riverside Caravan Park Superclass Shootout and the Dash, which doubles as the Jai Welsh Memorial, a tribute to the popular skier who tragically lost his life at Robinvale in 2015. Superman had won the Superclass Shootout last year and they did it again in 2019, this time by the blink of an eye, stopping the clock in four minutes 53.42 seconds to hold off TR by just three one hundredths of a second. And set up a mouthwatering clash in Sunday's big race. In the dash, it was Stinger 21S who grabbed the win from Tempered. But perhaps the most impressive performances of the day belong to the two last skiers on the course, eight-year-old Abby Kate Evans and her little sister Libby. Good boy! Against the grain. And who's going to win? Me! Like many in ski racing, they have a deep family connection to the sport. We've got three generations racing this weekend, so we've got my dad with Marmaradie Magic in Vets. We've got myself racing with the girls as well as skiing and then we've got the girls racing as well. Abby Kate considers herself a veteran of the sport having raced in five River Classics and three times at Robinvale. I'm working on getting up on my single so then I can do marathons and two up and everything. Abby was sure she'd beat her little sister and she let her know it with some friendly words of advice too. I'm going to win because I'm faster. Well, for Libby, today's race was her debut. And what a debut it was for the courageous little charger, who was born with a hand that didn't fully form, and who could have competed in the disabled class. In fact, she is ski racing's youngest disabled athlete. Afterwards, the pair were all smiles, Libby describing the best day of her life. I started from the bank and then I went as Laugh when I was coming back and I was holding on. A life that is sure to be filled with ice cream and plenty more days on the river with her big sister.